Hello, I'm Revolution Rail and welcome back to the England Loop project. In this episode, we're going to be looking at static grass and grass in general, and maybe some bushes. Just general scenery stuff. But as you can see here, you can see that we have started, or I've started, I just wanted to have a go so I could make this video, see what I could get out of it. Now, I'm pretty pleased with what I've got here, so I'm going to show you how to also make this. Now, just to beware you, this video can be dangerous. Because this is the, uh, just whenever you're doing anything like this for static grass, just remember If it focus, just remember that it does cause big shocks. So be aware of that, and let's get on with this sort of update. I'm going to try and do all the grass on my layout today, so you'll see the whole layout covered in grass. Now well, this might be a bit overboard, putting grass everywhere, but if I don't want grass I'll just scrape it off late on the later date. I want to get my baseboard, or my layout, to a finished state, so it looks presentable. And then we'll go back and add stuff. So, let's start off with the first bit, shall we? Okay, so let's start off with the static grass applicator. This is the static grass applicator that I have brought. It's from a guy from eBay called Pikachu Poo. Bit of a weird name there, but it's good quality, so and cheap. It's fifteen pounds sixty. Well, you'll be looking at forty quid for a Pico one, which is frankly a bit too expensive for something that is simply just a fly sorter that's basically what this is made from, it's a fly sorter with a double air container strapped to the traps to a sieve and it works as well as any other static grass applicator now this comes without a stylus now most people you wouldn't need a stylus but if you're applying straight to the uh, baseboard, I would suggest making the stylus. Now this is my stylus here. I have made it from a old pen and a bit of wire and put electrical tape on each end to protect myself. You can see that. Just to protect myself from get an electric shock really because this does hurt if you get electric shock I've got this stylus so I can go to the baseboard put it down where some glue is and static grass happens so that's what the pen's for now you normally won't get it without this pen I've just used a bit of lilin bin lining for mine because that's all I could get across I can get any wires so there's that now let's move on to static grass right so this is my static grass they cost about £3.50 each which is not too bad um, I guess but here I've got in the middle we've got falla or fuller however you say it I'm not quite sure summer grass we've got for here pico one millimeter dead grass. We've got here Pico two millimeter spring grass, and over here we've got Pico six millimeter autumn grass. So I've just mixed all those together. Really, I put more autumn grass in it because our scenario or layout or whatever we want to call it is in autumn. So. 
it makes sense to have more autumn grass in there than summer grass or spring grass which is the opposite but having it in there sort of just gives a sort of sense of mixture having that so these are static grasses and I guess the next thing to do will be to show you how to apply it and to apply it on the flat bit of board if you want to learn how to do it any other any other way I suggest that you either, you look up this Pikachu Poo person and they've got some good videos on how to use the static grass applicator for different scenarios such as war games railways or any other models so if you want more on static grass I suggest you go there there'll probably be a link in the description and if there isn't just leave a comment and I'll put it in there because I'll probably forget so let's get on and do this big patch that runs all the way along here we'll just do this big bit here to show you what to do So there we are, there's the grass. Dunnish. It's a bit missing there. But I'm not really too fussed about that because I'm doing autumn. So I don't have to be super neat. <laughs> I know that sounds like a bit of a silly thing to say. But I've got leaves to cover these gaps that I'm gonna use. So doesn't bother me too much. That's basically the same method for in between tracks to do something like this. But you just use blobs of glue this is a covering the whole thing. That seems to do a brilliant job. Though I have underestimated how much autumn static grass I need because I use probably about half of that already and I haven't done much of my layout I've only done that obviously we've got over there to do all of this to do and some over there to do so yeah I guess we'll see how far I get and I'll keep updating you guys but I'm going to run out of the autumn mix not much left anymore use about half a packet. Not good. Okay so I have finished off all the grass on this layout. Um, I've got patches maybe over here close to the camera here and just up in this corner here where I've got shorter grass. This is where some trees are going to be placed so there's going to be less grass growing on there so that's all good, that's what I'm aiming for on that one so just 
quick summary before we end the video. Um, the grass looks effective, um, but there are places where it could do with tidying up a bit. Still looks a bit messy. It's not by no means completely finished. We need to add bushes and some other ground foliage to bring it more to life. I um, have tested it out slightly in this area, um, but since doing more static grass it has dissipated, or des desipated is the word. So if you want to find out, watch some stuff about ground foliage, I guess tune into the next episode, episode 11. So what are we doing next? Um, as you can see I still haven't put this building in so that's going to have to go in before we do any ground foliage and the buffers down this end they're going to need to go in as well and probably I need to put the uh, cargo container in there and then it'll be all good we'll be ready to put ground foliage in and then after that we'll probably be doing trees and the layout will be coming near to the end of its um, major thingy of, of course a layout is never finished so I'll always be working on it so thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like. If you want to see more of this Inglenook project and maybe some other videos that you might be interested in, then please subscribe. It means a lot to me and the channel. So thank you very much for watching. See you all next time. Bye bye.